My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, greetings. I greet you not only in the precious name of Jesus, but also on behalf of our administrators, Dr. Peter Carr, our president, Dr. Cheryl Rowell, our executive secretary, Ella Roderick Sands, our chief financial officer, and the Family Ministries Department of the Atlantic Caribbean Union. I'm so delighted to support our Family Ministries directors around our fields who are doing a stellar job in ministering to the families in your respective conferences. Thank you for all that you do in Family Ministries to help strengthen the families within the church and the community. You can appreciate that our families are in crisis within our churches as well as our communities. In fact, studies have shown that the health of our churches and our communities are directly related to the health and well-being of our families. This year's A Family Togetherness Week of Prayer, we're making a special focus on mental health of everyone in the family. We are praying for the mental construct of our families. The theme for this week is Keys to Healthy Minds, Flourishing Families. Please join us in prayer for God's Spirit to do a mighty work among our families during this spiritually focused family strengthening week. We must be intentional in praying for each other that God would heal the abused, the broken, the hurting families, and to strengthen those families that are stable. It is my prayer that this Family Togetherness Week of Prayer be a launching pad for many families to get back to making daily family worship a reality in their lives. God has promised, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. On behalf of my dear wife, Samantha, and our children, Samuel and Samaya, I declare blessings from my house to yours with love.